This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price beat they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. See you later, mate. Bye. Bye, mate. That's a new tyre put on. Had a blowout just now on the rear. Um, unfortunately, it's caused a bit of damage elsewhere on the truck. You might be able to just see there that is a pipe that I've had to cable tidy up because it burst, like well, ripped that pipe off. The pressure of the tyre burst in ripped that pipe off, uh, and air was leaking. I had no air pressure, so uh, I've had to cable tidy that. And uh, what that means is I've got no air on the back of the trailer now because I've cable tied it I can build air up but the brakes are locked on so although truck tie has been and gone and got me a new tire put on I still need to wait because now I need the air pipe fixed happy days that's well, not happy days it's annoying because now I'm uh, held up never mind just wait for him to come and then uh, go from there Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke and I'm not wearing my mic What's the point in having a mic if you're not going to wear it? Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel um, As you probably already know by the title intro um, I popped the tyre, I didn't pop the tyre, the tyre popped Actually, it was a bit more of a pop. It was a more of a bang. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm on a road called Winchester Road in Alton. Uh, just down the road from Travis Perkins. Um, got to do... Uh, it's a relatively sharp left-hand turn, actually, off a roundabout. So that's what I did. Um, coming down this road, is a straight road. Nothing on the road. No curbs or anything. Bang. Um, and it was very loud as well. So, um... I looked at my immediately looked at my driver's side mirror and I could see like a cloud of smoke or dust or something. Um, so at that moment, I I knew, realized I had a puncture or a blowout, and I can't say what my words were because I'm trying to make my content kid friendly or advertising friendly, as they say. Um, but yeah, I said a four-letter word. I let your imagination uh, think of what that might have been. So I pulled up, literally just down the road actually, from where, where I am now, you can probably see on the dash cam. Yeah, I do have the dash cam on. Where that van is now on the right hand side closest to us, that's where I stopped. And um, right opposite that van, there's a house and they come out and they had a, a nose. They wanted to know what the noise was. They said, what was that? I was like, I think it's one of my tires. Let me just have a look. I walked around the back and to the other side and um, yeah, my, the, the, the furthest back on the left-hand side, tyre popped. And uh, I'm probably showing you footage of that right now. Truck tyre come out and they fixed it. Luckily, um, I don't want to jump the story here, but luckily I managed to get tipped first. I was loaded. And like I said, I'm literally 100 yards. 100 yards behind me is Travis Perkins, where I had to tip. So I spoke to the boss and he, uh, he said try and tip it. But I couldn't go in because upon closer inspection of the tyre blowout, it also caused damage to my airline. So um, I had no air, because the air was going to the back of the trailer and then just hissing out. So what I've had to do is 
take off the pipe that it was hitting out of because it was half attached anyway. Take, just rip it off, kink it over and um, cable tidy it so at least the air builds up. I was then able to get into Travis Perkins, get tipped. But I just realised because I got no air, you're slightly high. Managed to get tipped. Um, and as I got tipped and come out, truck tyre was just turning up. So they changed the tyre and now I'm just waiting for the airline to be fixed. And I'm just waiting for them to turn up now. Um, is that a FedEx? Yeah, that's FedEx. Um, probably a bit over an hour now since the call. So in the meantime, I'm just getting everything ready in the cab. So I'm having a little bit of a, like a sprucey clean, do you know what I mean? Cleaning the mirrors, got my window cleaner, polishing up and that. Um, I need to do outside as well, because I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday, but I'm just going to do inside. I've managed to get my mic the, the very one that you're listening to me on now. I managed to get it all wired up properly. Um, like I was saying, with uh, with truck changing and all that, changing in different trucks, I hadn't wired anything up. It was literally wire dangling down and sort of going along the cab and coming back down again. So it's like proper messy. But now you probably can't really see, but it's sort of going up along the door line, going down the door line, under the bed, and then eventually coming under the bed into this little pot here. Um, which then I can just grab this part and put it on and when I finish put it back down again and that's it there's like no cables the rest of the truck still very messy um, a lot of people have been asking for a cab tour um, I'll show you the cab tour on this GoPro okay I can't show you on that GoPro because it's dead um, cab tour is coming it's it's a bit messy at the moment I've got cables all over the place um, until I proper get things sorted out so i just don't want to don't want to do it yet just yet i've only had the truck three days um four days if you include today so i'm still sort of moving in getting everything where i want it to be and then i'll do the cab tour i promise i know a few of you have asked for one uh as for the bed proper comfy enjoying the enjoying the nights out it's well i say enjoying like i'd rather be home like to be brutally honest with you but it's I'm getting a good night's sleep, if that makes sense, while I'm out. Subject to change, because I'm winter when it's freezing out. I don't know what it's going to be like then. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a good night's sleep. I like to make the bed. I saw something on the internet not long ago um, to do with like success. And it was like, if you want to succeed in life, first you, you need to learn to make a bed. If you can make a bed in the morning and accomplish that, then you can go on to accomplish other things. So um, I like to make the bed. Not at home. The girlfriend can do that just in the cab <laughs> right so i'm sorry there's not really a lot i can do yet i'm just waiting for this guy to turn up to come and fix my airline and uh take that as you will yeah ciao for now i'll see you in a bit mm, he's looking good Right, so we're good. That's the van there, just pulling away now. We are off, finally. We got here at eight o'clock, and um, it's 20 past 11 now. So that's three hours and 20 minutes. But we, we did get tipped as well. So it wasn't too bad, we just, it worked out quite nicely to begin with because when I got here and the tyre blew out, there was already a lorry inside getting loaded and there was a lorry outside waiting to go in. So um, when I got here and the tyre blew out, it was fine. I wasn't actually in a rush to get in. Um, and then um, made a load of phone calls and that. 
And by the time I um, figured out that the brake chamber pipe had broken as well, um, and I kinked it and cable tied it, got that nice and secure so I could build up air pressure. By the time I did that, all the lorries had been tipped and I went straight in. So all that time I was waiting to begin with, I was gonna be waiting anyway. Uh, so I got tipped and then as I come out, after being tipped, uh, Chuck Tire, the company who like put the new tire on, actually turned up. So as soon as I got tipped and I got out, uh, the tire was getting replaced. So I didn't lose any time whatsoever until he fixed the tire. And then I had to wait for this guy out to come out and fix the chamber. The, the, the pipe so um, I was waiting for him for a good hour so I've lost an hour in total which ain't too bad not really maybe an hour and a half anyway back to Southampton now um, I need to actually give them a call and just tell them that um, tell them that I'm on my way back and the ETA is 20 past 12 That's the ETA anyway. So, I don't know what I'm doing later on. I don't know where I'm going. But, um, we'll find out eventually, I suppose. Right, so we're on our way to our second job now. Let's keep that entrance clear. Uh, we're on our way to Basingstoke Building Supplies, which is on Winchester Road, I think it said. Andover Road. Oakley, Oakley Station, Andover Road. It's called Pavestone UK Limited, ba Basingstoke Building Supplies. So that's where I'm going. A um, little bit worried about why that light is green, but no one's actually moving. I'm only two miles away, just around the corner. What I was going to do is talk to you while I'm on the way there, but if I'm going to stop here for a little bit, I might as well just wait. Someone's turning around behind me. Rest in peace. Um, right, it's still green. Still green, still green, still green. I'm gone. Ah, oh, there's never light. Stay green. Well, I'm committed now. In the middle of the road for the bridge. I should fit. Oh. <laughs> I say I should. I know I was gonna fit under it. I know I'm 14.2 uh, and that's 14.3. So, I knew I was of the right height. Bloody hell. Bit of road work's happening down here, isn't it? We've got to come back through this yet. Still red for them, that's good. Uh, it's getting a little bit narrow. All good. We've made it. Um, yeah, so we've we've had to go through Basingstoke. We've kind of um, come into Basingstoke and sort of done like a almost like a, a U, which is turned up on its side. But yeah, we've come into Basingstoke. I've had to go past um, a skydiving place, which I thought was quite cool. Never really seen a skydiving place before. Indoor skydiving. I'd love to go, but. They'd need to use twice as many fans just to get me up. <laughs> so um, I don't think I'll be going skydiving, indoor skydiving anytime soon. And as for outdoor skydiving, I am scared of heights, so I doubt I'll do that either. But never mind. Yeah, we went past uh, indoor skydiving and then there was some sort of swimming pool thing with uh, slides going out around it as well. That's literally where we just gone past. I heard a siren then. Sometimes the lorry makes like a, a whistling noise and it sounds like a siren. So I always got to have a little look. 
Yeah, so this is only the third day I've had this lorry, so I'm still trying to like figure everything out, what everything does, uh, what's wrong with the lorry, because although it's a new lorry for me, it's not a new lorry. Uh, there are things wrong with it, like the seat belt plastic thing here, look, is not on properly. The seat is a little bit squeaky, but then again, I am like overweight, so it's probably not uh, helping it. And there's loads of little things that don't work, like the sunroof don't work, but it all get fixed. It's only electronic stuff. Sometimes if I want to undo the right window, it goes down, sometimes it doesn't. I had to press it twice then. Sometimes the left one don't undo, and sometimes it does. I've also had it where I pressed to put the right one down, but the left one's gone down. So there's loads of little things like that. Um, loads of like little niggles, like the doors don't lock from inside. Okay, having said that, they just locked. So sometimes things work and sometimes things don't work. So there must be a dodgy, dodgy wire somewhere. It's all little stuff, all little stuff, it don't really matter, it gets sorted. Need some carpets in here, because there's no carpets on the floor. But we'll get there, we'll slowly do it up, it's not a problem. Home from home, innit, at the end of the day, how, how, how I want to have it really. Anyway, nearly there, three quarters of a mile. I think it's somewhere on the left, and I've got to be careful because I don't want to pass it, because it doesn't look like there's room for turning around anywhere unless I go miles out the way so I do not want to miss it eight hundred yards okay I think it's after this turn in yeah after this turn in I think or well, maybe not maybe it's after the next one Don't want to miss it. Okay, it's after this turn in on the left. It's in between the turn in and the bridge. I know that. I want to say station something. Is that station something road? It's there, station road. So it's on the left just after here. And it could be quite a tight entrance as well cars behind are getting a little bit annoyed. Okay, it must be there. It must be here. BBS, Basing Stake Building Supplies. Bit of an eel. I can't really stay on the road, that's the problem. So I just gotta come in and hope for the best. They look like quite a lot of room on the maps. But I don't actually know where I'm going. I think it's down here. Yeah. Oh, how I hate going on hills. Sideways, like banks. Let's hope I can get in. Okay. Might not have... Uh, Needed to come in without asking first. But hopefully we'll be alright. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we uh, we sit now at that place at Beijing Stoke Building Supplies. And we're on our way back to the yard. Look at hiccups. I had a slight issue, as you might have been able to see. So, where the uh, tyre blew out earlier on the trailer on the far rear left, I just, uh, I had a look and the tyres were flat. Like, I got three tyres on the trailer either side. And the other two on the left hand side that didn't blow out were both flat and to the same level. Which is really odd and like, I haven't scraped any curbs. I haven't hit anything. And they've both gone down somehow. The only thing I can think of was that yard, because it was a camber. I don't know whether that would have done it, but it, they were fine before I left, and they'd both gone down illegally low, to be honest with you. You, you know, you couldn't drive it. 
Um, so yeah, it's a bit concerning. Luckily they had a compressor on site and um, I've got them both up to a, an adequate level. I wouldn't say I was overly happy with it, but it's an adequate level. I would say I was legal to drive with them like they are, but I wouldn't get loaded with them as they are, that's for sure. So I just need to keep an eye on them. I'm, get, I'm heading back now to the place I get loaded from and uh, I'm hoping I can fill them up with a bit more air and then keep an eye on them, keep an eye on it overnight. Obviously I will be loaded as well. Get them, get them blown up with air, then get loaded and see if it goes down or not overnight. If it goes down overnight, then obviously I can't go anywhere. But I don't know whether it was the, the damage from earlier. So, sick rep is, um, we, because I don't, I don't even know what to say, it's been a rubbish day today. Uh, obviously I had that tyre blowout earlier, which I, I thought was just an ordinary tyre blowout. But now the other two tyres are also not looking very good. Managed to blow um, the middle one up. The one on the front didn't really blow up too well, so I lifted up the axle. So I got back safe, but by the time I got back, it was too low again. So um, I filled it back up again, around the corner from where I get loaded, and I've parked up for the night. Um, I've called truck tire again, and I need, I think I need two more tires. I don't think, I don't think it's just a puncher. I think it's, I think it's fucked, both of them. So I've called my boss and I told him, you know, I need two more tires. So. I don't think he'd be very happy with me. Three new tyres in one day. The only thing, the only uh, sort of thing it could have happened is that I ran over something, but I didn't see anything. I did not see a single thing in that road. I was in a straight line, absolute straight line. So the front tyres would have been affected as well, and the front tyres are fine. Unless. The blowout was this morning completely random and then I fucked the other two up, sorry for swearing, later on in the day. Oh well. It's not oh well really, I, I feel disappointed in myself because I've damaged the trailer and the tyres. I know they're, they would be classified as consumables, but um, at the end of the day I think that's going to cost my boss money. Probably will cost him money. And if I'm costing my boss money rather than making him money, you've got a question if I'm going to have a job at the end of the week, and yeah, or the end of the month. Ah. So yeah, I've just got to wait now for the tyre guys to come out. I'm parked up for the night with tackle cards out. I've finished. I mean, started at half past three this morning, and it's five o'clock now. So. 14 hours, something like that. I need to write down actually, so I, yeah, nearly 14 hours. Never mind, never mind. Today's another day, innit? Get these tyres on, reset the clock. Tomorrow's Friday, get the runs done tomorrow, and hopefully, all goes well. Hopefully. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Don't run over anything. Don't pop any tyres like I have. See you soon. Bye-bye. Do you hear that? That was a ferry of some sort. It's actually woke me up at night in the past. Good night. Bye-bye. Sweet dreams. See you later. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.